you're just practicing with some of the simpler ones and what you have to do is basically um, go step by step and you want to make collages with the uh, template right so here I have lots of photos that I downloaded using Bruce Lee's uh, what you call Google Google images Bruce Lee codes and you have a lot of choices so you download every photo uh, onto a a what you call photo collection area and all I do is click on the ones that I want to use so they give you the number and probably around 20 is good so that it's not too crowded so if you have less so you, you have just kind of uh, not enough uh, squares and rectangles so 20 is pretty good and then you want to major uh, use the major photographs to, to stress your point so here as I go selecting um, sometimes it's difficult to delete you see all the doubles and it kind of helps also to identify them when you have doubles so it's kind of difficult to remove them they don't allow you because the photos are used in the collages okay so we'll wait for the next step then you're gonna hit apply so this tool can give you unlimited varieties of uh, creation and basically because you have all the, res all the resources from Google images so you can really make up a lot of stories and there are special effects so you can make each collage different from the other just by making some difference in the effects and also the music got a lot of music choices to do to choose from so now you can start to see all the pictures appearing and they are clustering together so some of them are rectangular and slim so they can't really see the message so you might have to replace them uh, with more like a square so that you can read better you see like if it's uh, narrow and ended up like a rectangular strip you can't really see the message but each one can be highlighted and each one can be customized in terms of entry motion right you see you see that the way they come in it could be rotating it could be enlarging it could be all kind of effect down there so uh, as long as you spread out and don't make them all the same then it is kind of cute in a sense they are falling into piece uh, places and there is also another key where it, it did uh, it does all the animation by itself so even if you cannot place them well the machine or the program itself will help you and there are many other things like slideshows and other stuff that we can use to make our lessons so this tool is really 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 cheap and kind of effective because I kind of was using the free tools so when I came, came across this one I, I like the feature so I bought it So here I'm playing with the enlargement. Magnification and stuff like that. So and after I play with it, knowing all the functions, then I go ahead and do the uh, collages for the members. See you you can pick up the proper photograph of that particular person you want to emphasize on so that that becomes the main theme and then you use that for the person to use it as an intro right you want to uh, make a few appearance or make it into the center or highlight the the site a little bit and, and you can see the emphasis the rest of the slides could be just supporting and that way uh, you can customize for a lot of people the students first and then teach them how to do it so that they can teach others so this is very useful in a sense because for capture pages we can definitely do a lot of varieties right because the standardized ones are repeated by other people so if we know how to create uh, different images then we can uh, use it you know customize the capture page and then we can insert the uh, opt-in form onto the image or use it as a uh, background you know motion kind of background 
and the, the capture page or opt-in form is uh, uh, static in the middle so here you can see me moving around customizing as much as I can just to make a storyline okay and also kind of even distribution so that it's not clustering but because the photographs and the picture kind of convey a message so you you want to make sure some of the main points are highlighted in terms of size and positioning and and let's say emphasis right so I'm just playing with Bruce in this case uh, one pose of a uh, of his stance and you kind of check all the time by playing back again and again so that you can uh, figure out which is the next slide you want to change or, or modify or edit